You've tuned into Shaw Arts and Entertainment. I'm Curtis Anderson. I'm at the Broadway Theatre this morning, standing beside Todd Standing. Mr. Standing, how are you doing today, sir? Excellent. Very good. All right, this Friday night is the big night here at the Broadway Theatre. You're bringing a film, a documentary, I guess. This is something two years in the making and something the people of Saskatoon have never seen before. Talk a little bit about what's coming this Friday night. Uh, well, this is a world premiere. I just went back to Edmonton. We did a whole bunch of revamping. We got some new interviews with this one. And uh, the big thing is the, uh, the Bigfoot footage that I've shot uh, the uh, famous video three that no one's ever seen before. Uh, I had a kineticist analyze it, and it's looking like this piece of video footage is going to be the most conclusive piece of Bigfoot evidence ever. Because a kineticist just told me, and they're experts in motion, that this 24 se or this animal that ran a 20, uh, 17 second run, the fastest man on the planet couldn't have done it in 24 seconds. So. Obviously, there's people out there, unfortunately, they're going to be skeptical of this. So what do you say about that? What, do you say come out Friday and see for yourself? Well, you know what? If you really want uh, Bigfoot to be proven as a species, I have to get protection for these animals first before I can reveal my scientific findings. So come out. Maybe you'll be, be a believer. Maybe you won't. But uh, have a look at my petition. Think about signing it. And what I'm going to do is this year, I'm going to go shoot another video. I'm going to come back with DNA evidence. I'm going to go out with uh, some famous anchor from whatever news station will come with me, hopefully CNN or NBC, something big like that. I'm not saying believe me. I'm saying help me get protection for these animals so I can prove it to everybody. Set the stage for this. Two years ago, how did this all come together? Uh, well, it's on my website, sylvanic.com. I had a, a friend of mine had an incident where his dog was killed in this region, and then I just started studying native folklore, working with the First Nations people, working with a brilliant biologist from the U.S. who's been studying this for 15 years. And with his research, the First Nations people, and my knowledge of a domicile, all three things came together, and it was just the, what we've made is just going to blow people away. So Obviously, lots of misconceptions about Bigfoot. It doesn't have an official name. I mean, Bigfoot's kind of something, what, like the media's labeled it? Yeah, it's a Gigantopithecus was a species that was thought to have become extinct 100,000 years ago. So, and uh, there are known species that existed. So. so how does this thing survive unknown, I guess, up till now? Well, I guess not really unknown. There have been sightings, but uh, what's your take on that? Uh, well, there are thousands of sightings every year. Uh, once, once people, once I show them what, what they've been doing, like they live in communities, they're absolutely evasive of people. Uh, I believe there's significantly more to it, but until we can actually get close enough to these animals to study them, all I've get, got is glimpses. I get within maybe 20 yards, which no one's ever done. Mm -hmm. 20 yards of what we call the day watchers. I've never been to the main group. But uh, I need to get, uh, I need to turn this over to forestry officers. I need to turn this over to the proper scientists to do the proper study of it. But it's going to take time to get those kind of implementations made because this isn't a myth, this is real. Mm -hmm. I was reading your press release here, and it sounds like there's a pretty big message attached to this video that you want to get out there. Well, uh the body of a Bigfoot, like as soon as somebody has a Bigfoot sighting, uh, Bigfoot hunters show up because the body's worth millions and you right. can execute one of these animals. You'd be a millionaire, you'd be world famous and there's no ramifications for it. No one will do anything to protect these, this species at all. So that's why I can't reveal my findings because the first thing that will happen is these animals will just be summarily executed and it's going to take probably a year, maybe two before any kind of protection for them exists. So this is going to be a process that it has to transpire. There's no other way around it. There's three showings here this Friday night. Five dollar cover and all money raised goes to the SPCA, is that correct? Right. To your Saskatoon SPCA. This is about animal rights protection, so uh, that's what we're doing. We're taking this on tour. We're giving all the money to every local SPCA. So, and I'm very motivated to pack this theater because I want to give your SPCA a huge check at the end of the day. So. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be front row. I'm really, I'm really excited to see this one last time. Friday night, three shows. Yeah. People are going to see footage of Bigfoot. Absolutely, for sure. All right, thank you so much for talking to us. I'll see you Friday. Thank you.